Thank you for joining us today. My name is Gail Watson, President and CEO of Women Speakers Association, the go-to place for innovative leaders, change agents, and women with a message to connect, collaborate, and grow their visibility worldwide in order to f fulfill her mission. As part of uh, her mission, we are excited to introduce you to Voices of the 21st Century, a book featuring a collection of female voices rising up to educate, to guide, and to inspire. And here with us today is our featured author, Janine Rivers. Hi, Janine. Hi, how are you today, Gail? I'm doing well and really excited to have you. Um, you know, the subtitle of the book is called A Bold, Brave, and Brilliant Woman um, Who Make a Difference. And you share a powerful story in this book. And um, what I'd love to, love to hear from you is, what attracted you to even share this story out of the many chapters in your life? Why <laughs> this one? Well, I thought about the the title of the book, Voices of, of Voices of the 21st Century. And as a woman, I wanted my voice of the 21st century, one of my voices to be of courage and bravery. So I chose um, my chapter in an effort to encourage people that have had the same experience as me and to show what I have done throughout my life to, um, to remain a survivor. Right. Um, now in this, the title of the, the story you share, what is it again? It's, it's hearing a close call. Hearing a close call. Yes. yes. Why don't we uh, dive into that a little bit and just to give us kind of an overview of what we would find behind in those pages. Well, in the, in the pages you will find, um, I came up with the title, literally the title hit me like a ton of bricks, hearing a close call. And it has a two, two part meaning. Um, the call that we hear through our whole life our, our internal voice that we hear that pushes us along through our many storms. And I speak of the, the call that I heard that um, helped me survive my suicide attempt. That's major. Yes. First, and, you know, I have to, first of all, applaud your braveness, your boldness. I mean, you fit the title beautifully. Um, because to talk about suicide is a big deal. Yes. Vulnerable place. So tell me, how has your experience or the story that you share, how is it impacting your world today? Well, what pe people fail to realize is that you have to think about what puts you in the place to want to end your life. And when you wake up from a suicide attempt and realize that you are still alive, you can either choose to be angry about still being alive, or you can take that experience as a place of strength to say, wow, I've been given a second chance. But what really people have to think about is, when you survive a suicide attempt and you come from a place of not wanting to live, you must realize that that person still has to deal with the same issues that took them to the point of wanting to um, basically kill themselves. So every day of my life, I still deal with the same um, bouts of depression. I still uh, deal with those moments where I don't want to be here. I still deal with those moments of questioning my abilities and questioning my strengths and questioning my self-esteem. And I, wanted pe I want people to know that you can survive. You can push yourself along. You can empower yourself um, with words. You can empower yourself with the right environment. 
and keep, you know, and, and want to live. Wow. What do you say to the listener out there that maybe is in that dark place where they're feeling, you know, their self-esteem is not there. They're not feeling worthy of life anymore. They don't want it anymore. I mean, what do you say to them? I say to them, I understand what you are feeling. I understand what it's like to get to that point in your life. I understand what you are feeling at this very moment, but I want you to wait five minutes and give yourself a chance and take a deep breath and think about all the things that you would miss out on if you chose to take your life. Think about the children that you will have. Think about the birthdays. If you have children, think about the birthdays you were missed. Um, think about missing graduations and weddings. Think about all of the great things that are down the road that will even happen in your own personal life. Just stop, close your eyes, and give yourself five minutes to think about that. That's what I do. And you know what? It works. It does. Um, I'm so grateful for you. I'm, I'm just grateful that you share this experience to change the life of that one person out there that's listening, that, you know, you can help to give that hope. And, um, you know, for, you know, do you have any words of wisdom that you can offer us maybe that, uh, that you'd like to leave us with? Um, you know, maybe from the perspective, if, if it's us as an individual who are feeling in that place, or maybe we know of somebody. Well, I would tell everyone that, um, for me, when I, when I speak about hearing a close call, for me, it was my internal quiet voice that told me that I could make it. It was that quiet, still voice that told me that I was worthy, that I was acceptable, not only to me, but to the world. And I want that person, Every we all have that one thing in our life that we hold on to. And I would say, hold on to it because you have to follow your first mind and you have to know how brilliant you are and work the mirror. Get in that mirror and tell yourself, I am beautiful, I am wonderful, I am worthy, I am enough. You are so <laughs> amazing. You are a bold, brave, and brilliant woman, Janine. <laughs> just, your energy is, is just so strong, and again, truly appreciative. Okay, so I know there are people listening right now that are connecting, going, Oh, what you're saying, the words are really resonating. Here's what I'd like to offer you if you are watching today or listening, and if you're even feeling in that dark place yourself, or if you know of somebody and you're not quite even sure how to reach out to them, I think what would be really powerful is to send them a copy of Janine's story, right? Yes. So definitely. would you be willing, Janine, if someone orders a book directly from you to write in there a personal message autograph to whoever they want? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Then let's do that because that's how uh, we are all going to make a difference. Um, and that's how you, if you're watching and listening to make the life a uh, difference in a life, maybe help somebody is to just give them that little personal touch from somebody who knows somebody who can relate to them. I think that's magical. So Janine, how do we get in touch with you? Well, I have a website. And it okay. has, <laughs> I have a website and it happens to be www.janineRivers.com. You can also reach me via email at janine.rivers at gmail.com. And my phone number, 414-795-6003. Call me, call me, get in touch with me. Let's, let, I would love to give you a book 
and let's talk. Wow, that's uh, that's pure heart pouring out right there, um, offering up your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's all over the the internet anyway, so go for right. it. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> well, Janine, I'm so appreciated having you on the on the show today, and really, again, a big thank you for sh just showing your heart and being vulnerable for the sole purpose of helping somebody else, uh, you know, with with their struggles. And, uh, you know, that you're, you're like that lifeline to pull that person back in. So I really want to thank you for that. What you're doing on this planet is makes a difference. Thank you so much for having me on the show, Gail. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful project. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and to our listeners, thank you for watching today and, or, and listening. Uh, we really appreciate you spending your time here and learning uh, to get to know a woman and her story. As you see, it takes, you know, we're on the show, we're challenging the status quo. We want to uh, tackle some of those topics that sometimes are difficult to talk to and um, we want to give you just that more of that insight and understanding of how you can serve and uh, serve others who are also in need. So I invite you to join back again uh, next uh, week where we will, um, where you can meet another woman who shares her powerful story. So thank you again for joining us and we will talk with you again soon. Thanks.